If you ever wanted to see the best way to cook a tomahawk bone-in ribeye on your pit boss, watch now and see if it's a must or a bust. First, I brush the steak with this olive oil here so that the seasoning sticks and starts to soak in to the meat. And then I use this Longhorn Steakhouse grill seasoning and then sprinkle it all over it. I also add a little salt and pepper and some adobo. I also use butter on this while I turn. So make sure to melt about a half a stick of butter so that you can spread it on this meat. All right, so I've got the grill up to 450 degrees and it's gonna get even hotter than that once I put this steak on here. I have the tomahawk steak ready to go on the grill. And what I'm gonna do is you open the grate down here in your pit boss. So you got the fire coming up. Then you can actually slide it over later if needed. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and sear this first. I don't reverse sear, I do the sear up front. There we go. We're gonna close that and let that go for about a minute and a half. Now we're at about 600 degrees. I'm gonna turn it a little bit this way. Getting, getting some new grill marks on here. See, we're closer to 500, it's actually about 550. There you go, flip that over. Again, we're searing that in and sealing in the flavor and the juiciness. As you see, I also have my meat thermometer, which I will insert here in a few minutes. And I have my butter that I'm gonna add to this as well to again, help seal in that flavor. There we go. Now I'm turning the heat down to about 300. I'm gonna move it up here to this top grate and then I'm gonna put some butter on it. All right, so I, I, I set this uh, to about 250. I actually slid the grate over just a little bit. I have my thermometer in there and I have my Govy wireless control app set to this. So I'm gonna let it sit in here I will check it in a little bit and add a little, just a little bit more of my melted butter, but that is what I am doing now. So I will show you the rest in a minute. All right, it has been about 50 minutes and I've had it on 250 on my pit boss. And it is now at 140 on my thermometer. Here we go. Oh my goodness, guys, that looks amazing. Time to pull it off, let it cool off, and then we're gonna cut this thing open. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna slice open this steak and see what we have going on in here. So get up close to this. Thank you to Rachel for filming for me here. Here we go. Oh yes, look at that. So this was like an hour of cook time. Look at this, it is very tender. It's very, look at all the juice is still in here. It's got a nice pink color, guys. That is awesome. That is some sizz, bro. Now let's just taste this. We're gonna do it like just mountain man style. That's a hundred dollar steak, bro. That is good. If you guys try this recipe, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if it works for you. Maybe what seasoning, if you do it a different way. I know some people do reverse sear. I can't do that. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. The show stops here. That's it, y'all. It's a must, my body's like metal of the road rust Serious no poor game with seven old buzz Not to be ready, that's it With shadows and dust, that's it, that's it Shadows and dust, that's it, shadows and dust